WatchOS 26.1 is now available and this build was quite large and took quite a long time. First, let's go ahead and go to general and about. The build number on this is 23S37. On my Ultra 3, it took about an hour and a half to go through the installation. Other users on Reddit had some fun with the time that it took. One showed five days. Obviously that went down after a little bit. Somebody even said 14 days is what they saw when they were installing theirs. In general, it took about an hour to two hours to get this install in. Now, part of that is because this was a very big update for a lot of people. Mine reported at four and a half gigabytes, a little over four and a half, I should say, 4.6 gigabytes. So keep that in mind if you are going to install it, might want to wait till overnight so it's not something that really bothers you if you don't sleep track but if you do sleep track try to find a good hour to two hours in the day that you don't have to wear your watch that way you can get this update installed that all being said all apple gave us on the information is that this update includes improvements and bug fixes <laughs> so there wasn't even all that much in this build and i've spent some time with it i've tried to find different updates, and I can't really see anything visually. Now I will say battery life, obviously, a lot of people have had some pretty rough battery life through 26, so 26.1 seems to be improving that, which is really nice. So in the past, I was getting about 36 hours on my Ultra 3, a device that Apple claims by default should get you a 42. So what I've seen since installing the release candidate and now since installing the actual build, it is definitely holding on to battery a lot better. As you can see, I just had it on the charger, but it had, it's been charged 25 minutes ago. We're still at a hundred percent, but you look at that graph from yesterday, the downward trend seemed to go slower than what I've seen on other builds. So I really think that I should be able to get that 42 or maybe more now on watchOS 26.1. Now, one thing that Apple talked about being updated on the iPhone is in the Translate app and the watch got some of it, but not all of it from what I'm seeing. So they added about eight new languages on the iPhone, but the watch for some reason isn't showing all of those. So, we have on the watch, we have Dutch, which you see right there, Turkish is down here. We have the Vietnamese, traditional Chinese, which we may have had that one before, but we definitely have it now if we didn't have it before. Now the ones that the phone shows that the watch for whatever reason is not showing at least yet is Swedish. There's a Portuguese, which is Portugal version. We have the Brazil version, that one's already there. Norwegian and Danish. So still waiting for those to show up. Maybe they'll show up. Maybe it has to download something in the background. Maybe it's gonna take like a 1.1 or something like that before we see all those languages come to the Apple Watch. But one of the biggest things in the Apple Watch is definitely gonna be the performance and the bug fixes and security updates. So overall performance seems to be really good. Like everything seems to be a lot smoother. The control center pops up nice and easily. Everything seems to be pretty snappy. If I open up an app, it opens up pretty quickly. I can navigate through it a lot easier than I feel like I was able to before. So that's really nice. Of course, that's the stuff that really matters. It's always nice to have like some new feature, some new whatever thing, but having the performance and everything being improved is also great. And of course, there's also the security updates, which Apple has a whole website dedicated to. So if we go through these, there are 26 security updates for watchOS 26.1. Everything from your Apple account, the Neuro Engine, File Integrity, Cloud Kit, Core Services, Cortex, Find My Stuff, something with the font parser, installer, kernel, 
Uh, I'm not even sure as a developer what all that does. It's some kind of network connection. I love how they give you like these libxpc, but then they also give you the actual info for what it is. Not only that, they give credit to whoever found it, which is always great as well. Stuff with your mail drafts, um, and the phone, Safari, Sandbox, WebKit. There's a lot of WebKit. There's always a lot of WebKit items and just so much. Like this is insanely important to get these updates. You may be thinking, this is a device that just sits on my wrist all day. Do I really need to be worried about security updates? And the truth is yes, because this device connects to everything on your iPhone, your personal data, your card info, everything gets connected to this device as well. So having those security updates and getting them as quickly as possible is always a great thing to do. Now, I did wanna talk about the control center just a little bit more as a tip. If you have not used the new control center, I highly recommend you check it out. This is what yours should look like by default, but we now have the ability to go in and edit and add new features. So right in here, you can add shortcuts, satellite, new note. So this one is one that I love to add. So I love adding the new note feature. I move this all the way to the top of my list because that one is so powerful. You can also go in here and they have Apple supported apps, but they also have third party. So right now we have Waterminder, Things, uh, Shortcut. So it looks like Waterminder and Things are the only ones that have actually supported it yet. But right from here, I can use the Waterminder app not without even opening the app, I can log 16 ounces of water. So let's go ahead and add that one directly to it. Hit done and just hit that button right there. So now if I go into the Waterminder app, I don't even have to open it. It's right there and it's a complication. You can see the 16 ounces was already added. That is so cool. This is hands down the best feature of watchOS 26 is the ability to add more customization to the control center because this is just gonna improve things so much. Right here, I had that new note. All I have to do is hit add. It's gonna go ahead and start adding one. I can switch. If I had it on dictation from the last time, it would have already started taking the note that quickly. So if I go ahead, I'll hit cancel. We'll go back. We'll do it one more time just to show you how it works when it's working at its best. So there it is, right just like that. That is so powerful and I absolutely love this feature so much. If you have not updated to 26 yet, this is probably the time to do it. 26.1 has been great. And also if you're interested in this band, this is a new band by a company called Nomad and it is a grade four titanium band with a rubber insole. So it's incredibly comfortable to wear. It stretches, it twists, and it's just insane how great this band is. If you'd like to see a full video on this band, you can click right here or the link to purchase it is is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.